Hello and welcome to Alsmere in Holland for the 1995 World Professional Ten Dance Championships. With 33 couples from 24 different countries taking part. This championship is contested for over the 10 ballroom dances. All couples start the qualification round with the five standard dances and the five Latin American dances. We now join the action in the semi-final stage and here you will find that some couples may have only qualified in one dance and that situation remains through to the finals. The eventual winner is the couple with the lowest place marks at the end of the evening. More about that a little later on. Let's uh, enjoy the dancing. And there, couple number 18, Peter Muller and Elke Malbar, fourth in the World Championships for the last two years. Can they get a medal in 1995? This, of course, the first dance, the waltz. There, couple number 32, Jan and Miriam Schweissen from Holland. And uh, this couple really trying to get a firm footing at the start of this championships. They will come into their own in the five Latin dances that we'll see a little later on. Important for them to uh, get as high a placing as they can in these five standard dances. They're the German couple. Their best result to date in a major championships is a bronze in the 1992 European Championships. And we just saw a close-up of uh, Diane McDonald from the United States of America. And uh, again, another dancer that will come into her own in the Latin section of this championships. So now the second dance, the tango. Jan Scheideberg and Wendy Croes, again from Holland. But, uh, looking at the favourites now, Kim and Cecil Regal. Third for the last two years in the World Championships. Second in the 1993 Europeans. Couple number 16, Alain Duché and Anik. Thank you, for the so, The first two dances in the standard section in the semi finals now completed. And they look again at the Dutch couple. But, uh, all eyes on Jan and Miriam Schweissen don't want to get too far behind in these first five dances. And look at the support. And that's who this crowd have come to see. Miriam looking very relaxed indeed. So now on to dance number three, the Viennese Waltz. And look there at the Canadians. Alain Duché and Annick with your liqueur. shot gives you an idea that it really is a spectacle this event a real sea of color out there you can see the uh, judges on the perimeter of the dance floor and the uh, Thank you so much. working out their qualifiers into the finals and well, the crowd enjoyed that There again, a look at uh, Jan and Miriam Schweissen. A 
number 24. We've got a good one solved then. Warren Bullock and Jane Phillips from Great Britain. So now on to the penultimate dance in the semi-finals. Here's the Foxtrot. That's the Austrian couple, Manfred Stieglitz and Angela Pryor. deductions for that. And couple number 25 from Greece, Jason Roditz and Tanya Kozovic. these two familiar faces already. The Dutch favourites. Well, tremendous standard of dancing here. Uh, there you can see a little bit of contact there, but uh, no deductions for that. The judge is looking to see that uh, it doesn't affect the flow, and the couples get straight back into the dance. Well, they make it look so easy, don't they? But there's hours and hours of training on the dance floor, gone into these performances. Culminating in this uh, performance in these World Championships. So now, on to the quick step. And couple number 21, Eric Soudou and Gail Bernard from France. <laughs> a little contact made. Standard dance completed in these semi-finals. Really is a demanding sport when you think that uh, all these dancers have to train over the 10 dances. Couple number 25 there, Jason Roditz and Tanya Kozovic from Greece. And there, a look at the finalists in the standard section in this World Professional Ten Dance Championships. Good to see Warren Bullock and Jane Phillips for Great Britain in there. On to the semi-finals of the Latin American section. And uh, the first dance, the cha-cha-cha. A 
at number 33, Hamian Schaderberg and Wendy Kroes from Holland. It's uh, 35, Kim and Cecile Rigo, bronze medalists for the last two years. And uh, they're so strong in the standard section, but uh, this is where they need to make sure they don't drop too far behind. At the moment, of course, just important to qualify into those finals. The Swiss couple, Daniel Steinman and Francisca Gruta. So there, the first dance, the cha cha cha. And again, five dances in this Latin American section, and they are the cha cha, samba, rumba, paso doble, and finally the jive. You really do have to be versatile to compete in these 10 dance championships. Completely contrasting style of dance required in the Latin American section. So on to the second dance now, the Samba. And there, the Swiss couple again, Danielle and Francisca. the uh, Dutch couple, number 32. We saw a lot of them in the standard section, but uh, this is where they come into their own, Jan and Miriam Schweissen. Uh, I'm sure once again the Dutch director will let us see plenty of them in this Latin American section. from Great Britain. There, couple number 16, if you get a chance to look at his shoes, it's Alan Duche and Anik. Jolie Cure from Canada. He's actually got his shoes covered in the same material as his trousers. And uh, not really to help accentuate the lines. So now a change of mood as we move on to the rumba. And these two are probably my favorites in the Latin American section, Gary and Diana McDonald from the United States of America. these two all night. I don't know about you. Fabulous expression. They're the second of the Dutch couples. Amazing. Rumba, we move on now to the Paso Doble. This dance 
is, of course, reflecting the character of the bullfight. The man portrays the matador, and the woman takes the part of the cape. And there we are, a close-up of the shoes that uh, I was telling you about earlier. And uh, the Canadian couple. Rapturous applause here in Alsmia. And uh, a tremendous standard of dance. Well, when you look at the energy and effort that these dancers are putting into uh, every performance, it uh, seems quite mind-boggling to me that uh, they're going to be able to keep up this sort of standard right the way through to the end of the finals. Now, the final dance in this first round of the uh, semi-finals in the Latin American section, the jive. Gary and Diana McDonald for the United States of America. Truman and uh, Helen Dalgleish from Great Britain, another couple that uh, really come into their own in this section of the competition. The Germans who uh, are always very strong in uh, all disciplines of uh, ballroom dance. The last eight years they've actually won five world titles, not that particular pair, but Germany as a whole. And uh, in the Europeans they've actually won uh, six out of the last eight titles. seem to be having a fabulous time out there. These two bronze medalists in the 1992 European Championships, they've never won a medal in the World Championships, but uh, could that change this year? Good all-rounders. They're the Americans, Gary and Diana McDonald. Well, you'd imagine that this would be uh, one of their favourite dances, the jive, of course. All over to the uh, UK by the GIs in the Second World War. So now on to the second round of the semi-finals in the Latin American section. And the first dance once again, the cha-cha-cha. Miriam Schweissen. slow motion at these two. They really do live the dance. And uh, the battle in this section is really between these two couples. It's the Americans again. And uh, interesting to compare the different types of interpretation in this first dance. 
So now to dance number two, the samba. Second of the Dutch couples, number 33, Harmian Schadeburg and Wendy Kroetz. Kim and Cecile Riegel. Silver medalist last year in these, sorry, bronze medalist last year in these championships. And in fact, uh, silver medalist in the 93 European Championships. There's a lady who certainly could have danced all night. chance to uh, look again at the Norwegian couple here who are so strong in the standard section and uh, need to qualify in all of these dances to make sure of uh, a good shot at the title. Of course, the rumba. And uh, the first time we've uh, seen these two this evening, Peter Ingris and Tatiana Drexler from Slovakia. It's probably one of their best dances. So just two dances to go now, the Pasadoble and the Jive. And uh, still all to dance for. Peter Muller and Elki Malba. Looking good, but these two are looking better. That's champions. A lot of home support for them here in Alzmia. So we move on now to the Pasadoble. Quite brilliant support. Here's the second Dutch couple. Looking good in this Paso Doble. Oh, how they'd love to win a medal here, but uh, 
in the Latin section, there's no doubt about it. These two very strong indeed, but uh, just not the same standard in the uh, first section, the standard dance. So now on to the final dance in the semi-finals, the jive. Alan Duché and Anika Jolicoeur. There, the final dance in the semi-finals. My word, there's uh, some energy out there on the dance floor this evening. And these two really enjoying every beat of the music. It'd be great if they could uh, win this championship on home ground. Rankings will look at the world titles since 1981, and Holland have never won the, the title. Certainly in the last few years, and there a look at the finalists in the Latin American section. There they are. Another couple who are very strong in the standard section. Well, a good start to these finals for Kim. Again, six qualifiers for this dance. interesting point here is that uh, the competition will really come down to the wire after the Latin American section and uh, the battle between Kim and Cecil Riegel and Jan and Miriam Schweissen. Now uh, Jan and Miriam, as I said earlier, excel at the Latin American section and uh, in the standard section they've only qualified in one dance at the uh, quick step. So we'll see them in the final dance of this section. But, uh, my word, these two seem to be in a class of their own. Standings of the tango, Kim and Cecily Riegel for Norway at the top again. The Italians in second place, Paul Wilson and Ann Jones in third. The Canadians, Alan Duchet and Anique 
Jolie Cure in fourth place. Move on now to the third dance, the Viennese Waltz. Now, there are, in fact, seven qualifiers in here, and uh, Great Britain represented once again with Warren Bullock and Jane Phillips. And there the Viennese Wolves. And again the class of the field. Kim and Cecily. And there a look at uh, Paul Wilson and Anne Johnson from Australia. Third in the first two dances behind the Italians. And there, once again, third it is again for the Australians. Italians in second place once more, but still at the top, Kim and Cecily Riegel. And in fact, on the Viennese walls, two judges put them in second place behind the Italians. That was the South African judge and the Austrian. So now on to the Foxtrot. Well, once more, a super performance from the Norwegians. And there, the standings of the Slow Fox Trot. Norwegians at the top, the Italians in second again, Australians in third, and uh, the Canadians in fourth place. And just one judge had the uh, Norwegians in second place on the Fox Trot. And uh, that was the Slovenian judge again. So on to the final dance and the quick step and roars of approval as Jan and Miriam Schweissen from Holland take part in this dance. And they're wearing number 32. I'm sure we'll get a shot of them. But uh, look at the masters at work. the Dutch couple. there you have it, the final dance, the quick step. And uh, the marks <laughs> for Jan and Miriam. And uh, they go into sixth place, but uh, they did well to qualify. The only dance they qualified for in the standard section. And just look at these marks for Kim and Cecily Riegel. Every judge having them in first place. So... Uh, it's five place marks, winners of all five dances for the Norwegians. That's a tremendous start to these World Championships for them. And it really is a, an uphill battle now for Jan and Miriam Schweissen because uh, Kim and Cecily have qualified for more of the Latin dances than uh, Jan and Miriam did. 
and uh, looks set to win this world title. Well, there, confirmation of the final results of the quick step. Atmosphere, a lot of tension here. A few last minute repairs and uh, renewals. And uh, you could cut the tension with a knife. Completely different feeling out here on the dance floor. Well, that was a shot of uh, Peter van Wollenhoff. He's married to Princess Margaret. Just uh, taking his seat. And now to the most exciting part of the evening for most of these spectators. The final of the Latin American dances. And uh, the first dance, the cha-cha-cha. couple that 90% uh, of this crowd have come to see. section completely different look now and the Canadians Alan Duchet and Annick Jolicure Appreciation of this, the first dance in these finals. Well, it uh, certainly looks to me as though Kim and Cecilia Riegel from Norway can't be beaten. But uh, the battle for the second and third spot will go right down to the wire. So. In the results of the uh, first dance and Gary and Diana McDonald from the United States of America, a couple that I really enjoy watching, have won that one with uh, Jan and uh, Miriam Schweissen for Holland in second spot. Third, Schadeberg and Kruetz also from Holland and here they are starting us off in the Samba. Well, I tell you what, there's very little to choose between most of these couples. They're the uh, Americans, winners of the first dance, but uh, they in fact only had one judge who put them in first. That was the Japanese judge. The uh, deci decisions were split in all cases. The uh, Dutch couple, Jan and Miriam, Schweissen had four first placings. Well, there, a look at the Samba results, and uh, Jan and Miriam win that one with Gary and Diana in second place. And uh, the second Dutch couple down 
in third. So uh, the tables reverse there. And uh, Kim and Cecil Regal from Norway, winners of all five of the standard dances, move up one place to fifth in the samba. So now onto the rumba. Jan and Miriam looking superb. Tremendous interpretation of this rumba. Gorgeous expression, a real feel for the uh, tempo. Of course, that's what the judges are looking for, good timing, good interpretation. And there, Jan and Miriam Schweissen for Holland win that one. The Americans in second place. And uh, David Truman and Helen Dalgleish for Great Britain in fourth. The whole and they've uh, qualified for the next two dances as well. But again, a look at uh, Jan and Miriam as we start the Paso Doble. Brilliant. The Paso Doble. And uh, I can tell you, I would hate to be one of those judges. A very, very difficult task. Well, no doubt about who they think was the best. A look again at uh, the Americans, Gary and Diana McDonald. Who, for me, have been very enjoyable to watch th throughout these championships. They're the uh, British couple, number 23, David Truman and Helen Dalgleish. Brilliant expression. And here a look at the uh, classifications of the Paso Doble. It's uh, Jan and Miriam at the top again, Gary and Diana McDonald in second place. And good to see David Truman and Helen Dalgleish for Great Britain in fourth spot. Warm applause for these two as we move on now to the final dance, the jive. Well, he's certainly not a shy character.
Uh, a look over the shoulder of uh, Jenny van der Strooy, the uh, Dutch judge. Well, what a sensational championship this has been. There, the final dance, the jive, and uh, warm appreciation from this crowd for Jan and Miriam Schweissen. And uh, good to see the dancers there congratulating each other. It's been everyone for their own out on the dance floor, but uh, the job done now. Just look at these two go. Gary and Diana McDonald. And they've uh, really enjoyed their trip to Holland. That's Alberto Avellina. Pregnolto from Italy. And they're the results of the jive. Jan and Miriam again at the top. Gary and Diana McDonald in second place. Schadeberg and Croes for Holland in third. And uh, the British couple, David Truman and Helen Dalglish in fourth place. And there the adjudicators working out the final result. And, uh, well, I can tell you there's no doubt about the winners. Kim and Cecile Riegel will win the title with uh, five place marks from the standard section and 30 place marks from the Latin section gives them a total of 35. And uh, that will not be beaten, but uh, definitely very, very close for the silver and the bronze medal. Well, that smile says it all, doesn't it? So there, the bronze medal. In fact, should I say the uh, warm applause for the second of the uh, Dutch couples, Harm Jan Schadeberg and Wendy Kroes, finishing third in the Latin section. But uh, the overall bronze medal winners at the end of the day, Alan Duchet and Annick Jolicure from Canada. And there are some uh, supporters of the Dutch couple Jan and Miriam Schweissen who uh, won four of the five Latin dances. Their highest place in the standard section was sixth, that in the quick step. And uh, they received their silver medal from Peter van Wollenhofer. And there, the 1995 World Ten Dance Professional Champions, Kim and Cecilie Riegel from Norway. Winners of all five of the standard dances. They finished sixth three times in the uh, Latin section, got a fifth and one seventh. Their weakest dance was the jive. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How do you feel now? I feel uh, unbelievable. I can't believe it. It's a uh, great it's feeling. Great. <laughs> Absolutely great. great. Very, very hard competition this year, and uh, it's great winning it. Well, there the view from Kim and Cecil Riegel. The last time that Norway won this championship was back in 1988 when uh, Raymond and Gunn uh, Mürengen won the title for Norway. And uh, a chance to look back at the performance from Kim and Cecilie. They've worked so hard throughout this championship and as I was saying earlier, it really is a demanding sport. And their confirmation of the final results, 
Kim and Cecilie Riegel for Norway win. Jan and Miriam Schweissen with all the support of the home crowd for Holland take the silver medal. And Alan Duché and Annick Jolicure from Canada take the bronze. I hope you've enjoyed this World Championships as much as I have. But for now, from myself, Chris Howarth, till we meet again, cheerio.